Welcome to our virtual open event. We're going to show you our fantastic college and you'll meet some of our fellow students who'll take you through course options and the facilities here at Telford College. We are currently under COVID measures. The college are managing the situation well and we are following safety guidelines. On an apprenticeship, you're employed to do a real job while studying for a formal qualification, usually attending one day a week at college. 80% of your time is work-based and 20% is study-based. By the end of your apprenticeship, you'll have gained the knowledge, skills and behaviours needed to either succeed in your chosen career or progress onto the next apprenticeship level. What you'll learn depends on the role that you're training for. However, apprentices follow an improved study programme, which means you'll gain a nationally recognised qualification at the end of your apprenticeship. You will have a mentor supporting and training you in the workplace to ensure you have the exposure you need to develop and learn. You'll also be consistently developing your transferable skills, otherwise known as soft skills, which are highly valued by employers. These include communication, teamwork and problem solving, as well as knowledge of IT and the application of numbers. Telford College work with over 700 local and national companies and have a specialised recruitment team to help as many people as possible to start the career of their dreams. Vocational courses are designed to help you learn in a practical way about a specific job area. They can help you get the skills you need to start a job, progress in a career or go into higher education. If you know what job or job sector you want to go into, you may want to study a vocational qualification. Vocational subjects are general qualifications that develop practical skills and knowledge related to a broad job area such as business, engineering, IT and health and social care. Here at Telford College there are opportunities in a variety of vocational subject areas. You will have access to industry standard facilities, expert teaching and a campus lifestyle that feels like university. Telford College is a perfect stepping stone to progress into your career, apprenticeship or onto university. You'll be supported by your personal tutor and get all the advice and help you need whilst at Telford College. The friendly atmosphere will help you settle in and make new friends from day one. You are treated like an adult and you'll feel your confidence grow as you progress through your course. Apply now to reserve your place for next September at telfordcollege.ac.uk slash apply. Right, well we've now got a bumper cast of members for the next few minutes talking about the foundation of Arcadia at Telford College. Um, let's start off by introducing our first threesome who we've got over on the far side. Hey, my name's Sarah Jones. I'm head of high needs. I am Gregory Price. Abigail Hudson. Excellent. We'll, we'll come to you to talk about student life here in just a moment. But Sarah, just an overview, really, of you know the department because there's lots of different strands, isn't there, to this department? So uh, give us a give us a, a snapshot of it all. Yeah. So foundation learning is um, um, in the in the heart of Telford College. So we're situated um, at the front of the college. So everyone sees our wonderful students coming in and out every day. And we are about promoting independence, developing life skills, and also developing work skills for some of the students who might go on and get jobs afterwards. And how many different routes are there within all of that? There are two main routes. So the independence and preparation for life route is for students in foundation learning, but also in the Willow Tree Centre. And um, for students following that course, it, their main aim is to become more independent in their home um, or perhaps in supported living. And then the second route is work skills, where students will come in, develop their work skills and perhaps go on to a supported internship. 
which is um, unpaid employment to begin with. We set up all the placements, work with the employers, and then students move on, hopefully, to live happy, fulfilled lives. We'll talk a bit about the Willow Tree Centre with a couple of the other members shortly. Um, but what's the, what's the best thing about this department? Because it's all about creating the right atmosphere to make people the best they can be, isn't it, really? Yeah. Best thing about the department is the students. And you'll see why when you get to interview them shortly. Uh, but I know all the staff team that work with the students are fantastic. They're highly skilled and they motivate the students. And I know they're just as proud of the students as I am. Um, so really a mixture of the wonderful students and the staff we have is what really sets this department apart from anywhere else. Excellent. And we've got two students here who have been handpicked for Hollywood fame to tell us all about it. So uh, let, let me start with you, Leo. What, from your point of view, tell me what you like the best. Tell me what your, your experience has been like so far. It's been good. I'm actually happy that I picked this college. How does it compare to maybe what you expected it to be like? Um... Or, what, or maybe what's one of the best things about it? What do you really enjoy the most? I just I enjoy everything I enjoy learning. And, and, and the relationship that you've got with the, with the, the, the tutors as well, the, the, the teachers, that's important, isn't it, as well? Yeah. They're all nice. Excellent. Well, that's good enough for me. Maybe from your point of view, tell me a bit about, about what you like. Well, I love this college because... Like, you can see people that you wouldn't see often, like, like, your friends, like, you can make new friends in this college, like, there's so many, like, different people in a variety of different, like, I can't think of the word, but, like, it's, like, whenever somebody says hi, I just, like, go, oh, hi, and just, say how was your day and go past like that but like I love this college because like the teachers are friendly like the like they have the if you're feeling bad they'll comfort you they'll make you feel like you'll you're you, you could be um yourself and I really like that and that's that's the most important thing, isn't it? From the from the, the college point of view, you can actually people will listen to what you want to do. You can be yourself, and you can set yourself some goals as to where you want to go. If you do, do you feel like what what what's the next step for for you guys, you two? Then what are you looking to do after this? I'm not sure yet. Keeping your options open, oh yeah. Because there's, there's lots of experiences in the practical experiences yeah. and placements and things like that. So do you feel like you're experiencing lots of different things while yeah. you're here? What, what about you, Abby? Have you got any ideas what the next step is for you? I really want to um, make other people happy like people have done for me. Like uh, somebody that if they want to turn to me and say that there's something wrong, I really want to help them out and do stuff like that. Like make them laugh, make them cry of laughter and make their life better like they've done for me in the past. Quite like the sound of that, Sarah. People make oh, you cry of laughter. Is that what happens in this department every day of the week? Uh, I have gone into some classrooms and there have been uh, lots of laughter and sometimes crying with laughter. I know um, at Christmas we had some good fun with the performance, didn't we? And Abby was a big part of that. And we had lots of, of laughter, probably crying laughter as well. I'll leave you to go and laugh on the other side of the camera now. <laughs> Thanks Thank very much. you. Thank you. Right then, two more uh, people with a slightly different perspective on the department here. Uh, introduce yourselves, who have we got here now? My name's Bernie, I work in Foundation um, Studies. I'm a, a tutor for um, students 16 to 19 um, within Foundation. And my name's Michelle Hudson, I'm Abby's mom. Excellent. Well, let's start with you then in that case, Abby's mom, because you're looking at you know, some of the things Abby was saying about how much she's appreciated mm. and enjoyed things here. My worry with Abby is safety because she's what's called a runner. She'd go. I can leave her on the car park. She can walk into school, into college. No worries at all. I know she's safe. She's here. And, and she does mm. two full days and a half a day. And I know them two full days that she's here, she's safe. It's fantastic. 
Fantastic. And have you seen a change in the development oh, of her since she came as well? So. Huge. She's matured so much. She went from coming from senior school as really sort of like um, a junior school age, mm. you know, in things she did and things. And now she's she makes her own bed. She, you know, she she helps me cook and. The change is marvellous, and it's lovely to see a, pair, a parent with a child with... Abby's got quite a few special needs, and to see what the guy's put in and how she's got what she's got out of it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it reflects on the hard work they do and the hard work Abby does, and it, 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 it's, it's fantastic. And now mother and daughter, a bit of a Hollywood career going on. Oh, well, well, you know... know. So, how important is it from the parents' point of view to you know be able to keep, be kept in touch with the people at the college, you know, so that you're as involved in this whole process as the, you know, as Abby has been. For me, it is paramount. I I need to know what she's doing and and things like that, and and they keep me in touch and text messages and emails and everything. So you are kept up with progress and everything. If something's coming up or, you know, you you kept up with everything. It's really good. Brilliant mm -hmm. And something I'm not used to because you don't get that feedback from junior secondary schools, right? You know, but with here you do, you do. It's just I can't say enough about it. You know, if, if I if I was allowed to have banners and flags waving, I would do because that is how I feel about this college and what it's done for my daughter. Mm -hmm. Let me just check. Can we get some banners? <laughs> uh, apparently, we can. Yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll sort that oh, out later on. <laughs> talk, talk from the from the staff point of view. Then, I mean, yeah. looking at it the other way as well. Communication is everything, really, isn't it? Definitely. Um, yes. Yeah, so it, all of our groups, all of our, all of our students, like Abby, have a personal tutor, where we undertake tutorial sessions involving one to one discussions. These can take place weekly. How after, however often the students. Um, uh, need that chat or talk and we do try as much as we can um, to keep that communication with parents so they're informed of any decisions, any discussions, any concerns, any, anything at all. So we do try and keep a um, clo communication close with parents, carers. Talk, talk me through a little bit the sort of progression then that goes on you know, with students within the department and the journey they'll go on, some of maybe the projects that they'll get involved with. Okay, so when the student um, starts, they have initial assessments to make sure that they're on the right course. As Sarah said, we have the two main strands is the independent live and life skills or the work skills. And they can progress, for instance, Greg came in on the preparation for life, life skills. He learned um, domestic skills, the independent living strands there. And now he, Greg had a fantastic year, um, fantastic student and now has progressed from life skills to the work skills course, which will hopefully next year enable him then to progress further on to the supported internship or pre-supported. Wherever, whatever um, we feel is, is the right um, progression for, for Greg, which involves and the work skills course, which is what um, Abby and Greg are on at the moment. So they're learning all the skills to prepare them for the pre-supported or supported internships. And I know a lot of the, of the activities that you do, you, you're creating environments out in the yeah. real world here on the college premises. Yes, we're doing as, as much as we can. And, and we, um, we're creating, we have enterprises that are set up. We've done a lot of volunteering out in the community. Um, enterprises that are included, um, that we've um, achieved over the last couple of years. We've set up a, a snack shop at the Deals on Wheels. Um, we have run a pop-up shop within the college selling um, items that students themselves can make or we buy in, okay. we shop for, yeah, which has been really successful. And we're looking to expand to like a pop-up cafe and a garden project, which is in the, in the pipelines at the moment. And also externally, we've done a lot of volunteering uh, community projects um, with we fundraised for a local charity which the students also um, research and they come up with the ideas who they want to support. The last couple of years we've raised and dogged walked for Hillbray which um, they have done. Uh, Telford Guide Dogs is another successful um, charity uh, project that we've been involved in. So yeah we let the students lead, student-led, um, for what they want to um, 
go with for the voluntary side. And, and then, then if they're having an input on the curriculum, then... Oh, definitely, because it links board, with, so. it links all the, the things that they do for, for voluntary work and community work, does link into employability skills, yeah. team working, communication skills, practical skills, so... Brilliant. Thank you both for your time. And will someone please get this lady some flags? And <laughs> banners. I want the work. <laughs>
is great for students that perhaps aren't quite ready for that mainstream course at the college and it avoids them moving into being neat which is obviously not not an education you know so it provides a great opportunity for students perhaps a second opportunity for some and for some students who perhaps have had a a bit more of a traumatic time at school or experience which wasn't great it gives them another year to progress those relevant skills to to move forward with and and typically how broad are these future destinations opportunities what what are what would typically be the next step yeah absolutely so we've i mean we've got quite a vast amount of um students really and they've had a, a, a different sort of experience once they've left so we have a few students that have come back uh, to complete a second year who um, perhaps haven't been ready to move on straight away. So we've had about three or four of those. Uh, we've had about 65% of the students move on to a higher level course within the college, uh, some in level one, some in level two. Um, so there's some real good success stories there. And then we have had some that have moved into employment outside of the college as well. So the vast majority of the students have moved on to a really positive outcome, which is which is great for the course, obviously, because otherwise the, I think, over 30 to 25 students we had last year would have not been in education at all and that obviously those statistics and figures would not have been possible without the course. Brilliant and if people want to know anything more about either the Willow Tree Centre or any of the other things we've talked about from the Foundation Programme, where do they go? What do they do? I'm happy to, yeah, so I mean obviously the certainly from the website point of view that's obviously a big thing which they can they can look at to to go on that and then also calling up any of the college information lines to figure out um, looking at you know open evenings and information evenings that we're providing obviously doing these talks for them to to access all the information that might be relevant for them. Brilliant. Thank you for your time folks. I'll leave you to go and smile in your own department. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you.